sheet with the name of Scott Walker! Oh, thank you very much, thank you very much. Good evening, boys and girls. Um, right, I want to have a chat with you about my increasingly sagging scrotum. Because these bad boys are getting lower and lower every day. And it was something that nobody told me about. All right? and there was at no point did my dad come up to me in my life and go, listen boy, when you're a bit older, you're going to be walking along a beach, might have a wife and a couple of kids, and as you walk across that golden sand, your nuts are going to be rubbing your footprints out. Because <laughs> it is a shock when this happens. All right? For me, I kind of discovered the droopage um, oh, it was about two years ago, around about my 40th birthday. And my wife wanted this full-length mirror put up in the bathroom, right? So he puts the mirror up. It's very nice, very lovely. Four or five days later, I'm having a shower, because it was my turn. And um, it was one of those, like, really hot showers, you know, where everything's, like, bigger than normal. And I kind of I got out of the shower, and I sort of glanced over in the mirror, and I was like, look at that big bastard. Woohoo! Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter! Now, everybody knows there are two things that every guy is going to do when he's naked in a room with a mirror. The first one is the helicopter. The second one is mangina. <laughs> now, ladies, this is true. I, I swear to God, this is true. If you ask your fellas and he says no, he's fucking lying. All right? Now, for the, the lovely ladies in the audience, if you're not sure about the mangina, that's where you take your old chap and you, you push him down between your legs. Well, obviously for me, it's like fucking like this, right? Whack him between your legs, whack your legs together, and you've got a puss, all right? So I'm in the mirror, I've done my helicopter, I'm checking out my mangina. And it was a good one, because I've got the crease right down the middle as well. And <laughs> I've got to be honest, as I'm standing there looking at my own puss, I got a bit turned on. <laughs> <laughs> so now, there's two things that happens with a man when he gets turned on. First of all, his thinking brain switches off. Next, his dick brain turns on. So I'm standing there with my mangina, my dick brain's turned on, and I'm thinking to myself, do you know what, when I get out of this bathroom, I'm giving my wife the best 17 seconds she's ever had. Right? <laughs> thinking brain kicks in, right? And thinking brain goes, hang on a second. Years and years ago, when we first got together, no kids, no marriage, all that kind of stuff, I'd come home from work, say, good evening, baby, how was your day? The knickers would fly off. All right? It fucking hit me in the eye nearly once. <laughs> Ten years and two kids later, I can't get the bloody things off with the blowtorch and the crowbar. He's like, fucking get them off, get them off, come on. So I'm in the bathroom thinking, right, I know I've got a bit of work to do. And I got it. I thought, you know what, I'm going to put on a show for her. I'll come out the bathroom just in my towel and say, baby, go sit on the bed. Cause I got a little something for you. Woo woo! That's my jam, that's my jam. So, right, okay, what am I gonna do with my show? Right, lads, if you're giving a show to your girls, right, your starters for 10 is always a butt clench. Right? Get them sitting on the bed, whap your towel off with your back to them and just go, check this out. Butt clench, butt clench, butt clench! Alright? We all know the girls love that. Girls love that shit. So I'm thinking to myself, right, well, look, this is just a Sunday night. It's not Christmas, it's not my birthday, I need to come up with something pretty special for this. So I'm right, right, got the butt clenched, that's me starters. Then I got it, I'll pull a Beyonce. Now lads, if you've never done this for your girls, you trust me, right, this works. You take this with you from me, alright, this is yours, you're welcome. So you do your starters, your butt clench, butt clench, butt clench, <laughs> and you go straight into Shazam. <laughs> So, now, trust me, lads, all right? Trust me. If you're naked, this view from back there for a woman, this is like kryptonite, all right? They will go weak at the knees every time. There's a couple of ladies there I can see, all right? I think they're getting a few soggy saddlebags out there. This is how powerful this shit is, all right? So, I'm in the mirror. In the bathroom, in the mirror, going, right, here we go. I'm going to practice now. All right, okay. So, you go, ha, 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 I thought... I just have a quick look back, because this is hot. I know it's hot. So I'm glancing at the mirror. What the, what the fuck? My wife comes running into the bathroom. She says, what is it? What is it? What's wrong? 
because my wife's a middle-aged gay guy. Um, it's, it's the only accent I can do. Sorry, I can't do accents. So she, she's coming to go, what's wrong? And I'm like, fucking tumour. There's a big lump, it's a tumour. And she went, where? Show me. So this, this is true, this is how I showed her. I went... <laughs> now from here, all I can hear is, oh, oh. I went, no, no, oh, oh what is it? What, what does it look like? My wife was actually going, oh, oh. Oh, it looks like a tiny brain on a string. Oh, oh. It's your gonads, for God's sake. Put them away. I was like, oh, nobody told me. Oh, no. See, guys, once you get over that shock, it's not so bad. You can have some good fun with it. It's many a time have I come out of the shower and I thought, Do you know what, I'll have a quick game of nut tennis. I'm just give them a bit of a slap. Um, I can do good impressions now when you're naked. I do a great impression of a male kangaroo hopping away from you. You sort of you go, boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Although, guys, be careful with that one, because if it's a tiled floor, it, the cold's a bit of a shock when it hits you, to be honest. Um, I've, I've figured out that if I kind of stand just right and get a bit of a flick, I can smack my own ass with my nuts, right? And it's, it's like my own round of applause, it's great. <laughs> but my best game to play that I love... And it's, it was like when I was a kid, right, I had this little game and it was um, like a, a plastic ice cream cone. And on top of the ice cream cone was a foam ball and it was attached by a long bit of string. And you, you kind of flick it up and you have to catch the ball in the cone. I can play the same game with my nuts and my asshole. <laughs> you sort of, yeah, you get yourself ready and you, you're like, you, you need a, a swing and a flick, right? So it's swing and flick and a swing and a flick. <laughs> yeah, holy one! Boys and girls, thank you very, very much. Scott Walker, ladies and gentlemen!